Hey guys, Rolly or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another video to the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last one regarding a new survival game, and that's exactly what we're doing again today. We're going to be talking about a brand new survival game. It seems like it's just on the horizon. So anyway guys, if you do enjoy survival gaming content or open world content as a whole, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you have that bell notification ticked so you never miss future videos from me. But guys, let's jump straight into this and today let's talk about the day before. Now, I actually received an email a few days back regarding this game and I mean, it blew me away to be honest seeing this I'm going to do air quotes now, you can't see this, but this gameplay reveal trailer type thing because, I mean, it looks incredible. That's currently being played in the background of this video. So let's quickly jump into what the day before is. The day before is an open world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America overrun by flesh hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food weapons and cars. You wake up alone in a world you no longer remember, setting out to find answers and the resources to survive. Now, you're probably thinking of a lot of comparisons. I also uh, can think of a few. Um, the ones I'm gonna name are things like Last of Us, Days Gone, something like that, because, you know, it's zombies, it's a big open world, it's it's to AAA standard. Um, now, I don't know much about the developer or the publisher, the developer being fantastic, but spelt weird, and uh, the publisher being Mytona. I don't know if you guys have heard anything about them. I can't really find too much about them, but anyway, that's by the by. That's a quick overview of what the day before is. Now, we're just looking through their Steam page, and then we're gonna jump into a few more of the nitty gritty details. Your aim is to survive at all costs, such abandoned vehicles, houses, and skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources, enter places no one else dares, crush the infected and other players with realistic weapons, becoming a legend of the new world, and discover the vast post-pandemic world. Explore beautiful yet dangerous places with stunningly detailed vehicles. These vehicles look insane. I know it's just like, some artwork so we can't get too excited about this but they do look really cool and some of the settings in these screenshots i mean yeah it's looking really nice find a colony of survivors take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late in the survivor colony you can sell your loot and communicate safely with others so the colony of survivors sounds like this sort of safe haven where you can go and look through your gear sell some of your gear and maybe just meet up with friends now yeah this don't get me wrong, this is like everything I've ever wanted in a game. The one thing that worries me a little bit is it's just come so out of the blue and I mean, we've not seen anything else apart from this honestly very scripted gameplay demo. And I mean, the gameplay demo, if it is, you know, real gameplay, does look really, really nice. It's third person as well. That's no news of whether we can toggle between first and third. But yeah, it's it's your typical survival game, you know, kill things, loot things and build up your character and I'm sure rinse and repeat. So the day before features a combat system that was perfected to the smallest detail, a realistic transport control model, a variety of survival mechanics and mesmerizing landscapes of America destroyed by a virus. Gather your friends, equip your vehicles and set off on a dangerous journey. So it seems like this game isn't going to be set in a specific state. It's not going to be set in New York or it's, it's not going to be set in Colorado, somewhere like that. It sounds like it's set in America, so there's going to be a few different locations. Whether that's going to be one massive open world or, you know, like three or four smaller sections of world that you can sort of transfer to, we'll have to wait and see. Now, developed by Fantastic and published by Mytona, the game is set to be released in Q2 of 2021 on Steam. I mean, from what we know so far is there already seems like there's a lot that has gone into this game. Who knows, this game could have started development four or five years ago and they've just sort of like, yep, we're almost ready to drop this game, let's show it to the world. Maybe that's what they've done with this and, you know, maybe in a few months time we do get an extremely polished open world MMO survival game. I I fully hope so. This game looks incredible. I'm sure you can understand why I'm really hyped for this game because, you know, my favorite type of settings, loot, zombies, massive open world vehicles. It does, it looks really, really good. Now, I'm gonna leave a load of the links in the description 
where you can find out more about this. But that's all we really know at the moment. We have this four minute gameplay demo. We have some screenshots. We have a Steam page and a Twitter page. And that's about it. But now, although I, I probably do come across very excited in this video, which I am. I mean, anyone knows me that knows I love survival games is just going to know that this is going to tick all the boxes for me. But I'm just going to try and keep it, you know, very level headed because these things take a lot of work and for it to just like sort of pop up, come out of nowhere and be like, hey, you know, this is what we're doing. And it's a big, big job to do, but I'm hyped. The demo looks incredible, although very scripted. We've seen things like this before. I actually, when I first watched this gameplay demo, I thought all the way back to a game called The War Z, which they did a very similar thing had like um, a very scripted gameplay segment and the game that we got was very different to what was shown off in that gameplay demo so yeah take this with a pinch of salt be excited i mean you know last year and the beginning of this year have been a bit crap in regards to life as a whole so why not why not look forward to things that, that's how i'm gonna end this video i think why not look forward to these things if something gets you excited then enjoy it we currently can't pre-order this game you can wish list it on steam which i do with a lot of survival games so if that's where you want to keep up to date with it then be sure to do so and remember guys i'm going to leave all the links to their social media pages and the like in the description there we go i'm going to stop rambling here hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully we see more of the day before because i'm excited hopefully you will have a great weekend and if you don't want to miss any of my future videos on this game and many other survival open world games then do subscribe and make sure you have that bell notification active but of course thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye bye